Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. Today we're here at Crown's Engines in Patalic. project, an art project today, of actually real old. So that was used in the 2015 Pold Art production to represent Ross's mind, Will Leisure. And the person that's asked me to do it, hi Jeff, he wants that image. He's given me a photograph, I want to go up there, line it up and get some images and a feel for the sky. I know it's always windy down here, that's always a given, although today it's not too bad. So we'll have a wander around here and then we'll go and find the commission composition. I love creating art pieces using mixed media and textiles and incorporating pieces of sea glass, like the ones you're seeing on the screen now. For a touch of Cornwall on your wall, why not check out my Etsy store or email me about a commission? The details are in the description. With us today, we have our daughter home from university. So if you hear a voice in the background or see her, this is who <laughs> she is. I don't shut up. <laughs> That's very true, actually. <laughs> Chatterbox. So this engine here is called Crown's Engine House, and it was active in the 1860s. This mine was quite unique. It wasn't a vertical shaft, it was diagonal. Went straight into the cliff face back there. There was lots of timber behind me that carried a railway and all the trucks down into the mine. Queen Victoria and her husband, Albert, they came down and went underground on one of the little trucks. The power on those waves. It's incredible, isn't it? Have I ever mined here? It's, you know, when you're actually here, you feel so small in comparison to your surroundings. There's a person up there, I can see the scale of this cliffside. It's very rugged, very harsh, unforgiving. but it's actually pronounced Owls and it's one of those up there, we know which one. I love the sea spray, you can always taste it on your lips. And you can see it today climbing up the cliff face as it's hammering into our rocks down here. The waves are bursting. Jeff has given me an idea of the photo and I think it's from the other side because the sea in the photograph is behind the mine stacks so that's a big clue isn't it so let's take a look I think we're a bit close yet I can't get it all in let's go a bit further back here's the gateway no gate anymore Okay, sort of see the image there. It's about here. Brilliant. So now that we've found the spot, I really enjoy this composition. You've actually got a beautiful horizon line with the sea. And the if we can get the mine engine in a third, about there, you'll 
looking at the path going down, the hedge goes down, everything comes in towards that mine stack and it makes you look at it, even the skyline. The little quirk about this particular commission is that Jeff wants Ross and Demelza to be kind of on the pathway, seen from behind, particularly mentioning Demelza's lovely red hair and her nipped in waist. So what I wanted to come down here today to find out was really the scale, the proportion of a person to the mine engine house and how powerful it still remains even with people in front of it. So we don't want the people too big or too small, we want them just about right. Puppy bombed. Yeah. Can you say hello? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> so let's go down and stand roughly in the position that I'm going to put Ross and Demelza in the piece of art. So at the bottom of this pathway, looking up at their mine. About right here? I reckon. I'm surveying my mine, thinking I need to re-roof that. Do you know a good roofer? There's one back there. This is an Emily production. Did you find you a good roofer? No. I'm too busy. Ah, oh, it's truth. <laughs> what, what's going on? Dog camp. Dog camp. What's going on? It's the dog. <laughs> <laughs> I think you need to rescue your camera, Andrew. <laughs> Thank you, Millie. You're very welcome. <laughs> Run away! <laughs> Bye, Millie. <laughs> and she going back to university. <laughs> so, what I think I need to capture with this is the desolation and drama and the power of that mine engine. It is powerful, isn't it? Yeah. I think it's quite romantic as well. Yeah. So on the chimney, the courses of stone, because they have to be curved, they're not as regular and not as cut as the granite coins that you would have going around the window. They are really infill stone and they can be any shape or size, but in general they're in curves. So there's a shadow, isn't there? Shadow comes around that side, doesn't it? So sitting here sketching gives me a really good idea of how the mine stack is constructed and I want to put the sea glass, little pieces of brown sea glass to represent those huge strong granite coins in the actual mine stack itself. So the other thing to consider in this painting is there's a lot of green and I like this hedge in front and so I've just taken some details of the plants. There's thrift, there's buttercups, there's lots of grass. So just to make that green less stark, we'll put a little plant detail in there. Now I know what it is, that's brilliant. So I like the coins that go inside the doorway there. And we've got the chimney stack, it's actually wonky. In real life it's wonky, but I expect the artistic license I'll probably have to make it proper, otherwise it'll look like I've just drawn it stupidly. Do you think it's gone so, wonky after 150 years? No, I think it was probably wonky. built because they just threw them up, didn't they, to get as much, they wanted them up quick so that they could get the ore out of the ground. So you've got that nice little cutaway, that decay where you've got that rough edge. The light comes through that. Yeah, well. it's lovely, isn't it? See, the light hits that side and then this is all in shadow. These courses are, are all in shadow, aren't they? But that's a, a rough sketch. I'm not going to fill it all in now, it's getting a bit cold. In the sunshine, the engine house lights up, the colour of the chimney is salmony and the honey coloured granite. 
and above I know they're vapour trails but it looks like a kiss from Cornwall. So here is the final sketch I've added some watercolour detailed the hedge and just made some little notes about the day. I did an overall sketch of the composition noting the types of flowers that are in the hedgerow here. Finally the upright one with the details of the window reveals and that hedge looking fantastic, all the different tones and shades of green. Wheel holes, finely cut granite coins, warm brickwork, a wonky chimney, it's actually leaning. For this project I will be using acrylics, fabric, embroidery threads and this stuff, this is bonderweb, it's usually used in applique. So this is parchment paper sprayed with a layer of glue onto which I'm going to paint and then fuse it to the fabric. This is a preliminary sketch that I sent to Jeff and he agreed that this is what he wanted. So he wants to Mars own Ross looking up to the mine stack. So here is the drawing so far, it might be a bit faint. Here's the mine stack and there is the edge of that wall. So I'm going to just add Ross and Demelza at this point here. Okay, so I'm happy with that. There they are looking up at wheel leisure. We know we've got the proportions right from our visit and finding out with Andrew standing there just how big a person is in relationship to the mine stack itself. So the drawing went well. I flipped it over and stuck it down ready for paint. So let's get on with the fun bit, the painting. that's done. I'm really pleased with how all the colours have come together. The green was a challenge because there's a lot of it but I think I've got enough differentiation, the hedge coming down, it actually adds the perspective of the whole thing and points you at Ross and Demelza which are whimsically placed to look at their mine engine wheel leisure. Can't wait for this to be dry, we'll get it on some fabric and then the exciting bit, choosing some sea glass. I want to pick out some of the bigger stones in that mine engine stack. So exciting! Andrew and I collect sea glass from Cornish beaches. Sea glass is broken glass that somehow found its way into the ocean. After several years of tumbling, the pebbles and sand smooth the sharp edges and a patina makes it opaque. Thank you very much. Yes. It's doing oh, quite well yeah. already. It's quite a lot of clear ones, isn't it? Yeah. I use it in my art pieces, a touch of Cornwall on your wall. The pieces for this project came from Port Isaac where we were joined by patrons Brian and Anne. They were a little camera shy. <laughs> but if you just set yourself a square metre and just stay there, you can actually get all of it, can't you? Except for that's the only one. Got one? Children well amused. And what a background. Yeah, that's the trouble, you don't see it. <laughs> you end up with a bad back and you can see them. <laughs> How much have you found, Sarah? Oh, well, loads. <laughs> Gosh, you've been busy, Sarah. That's amazing. I've had two little elf helpers. <laughs> have you? Yeah. Who are these people? Who are camera shy. Oh, okay. <laughs> They're not actually here. No, they are. No, they're not. There we go. <laughs> that makes them <they're> not. <laughs> so, this is the sea glass that I have collected up at Port Isaac. Got some brick and pottery in here, too. I've stuck some sea glass little pieces. They're like little pearls, they're so well rounded onto the hedge to give you some idea of the tufts of thrift. I haven't worked on those yet, I've concentrated my efforts on the mine stack itself, the engine house. And what I'm trying to do is to get that curve on the chimney with the perspective, so that's the important thing at the moment. I want to bring some warmer colours into that because it's looking a little bit cold at the moment.
very well now. Probably got three or four more hours stitching and I think we'll be just about there. Let me show you where we are with it. This is our mine stack, wheel holes. I think the stitching gives you that idea that the chimney is curved. So the path leads down to the mine engine house, the mine stack, and we have this really old Cornish hedge. And here we have some sea glass. I've got some beautiful little pieces, and in the sunshine they really glow. The wall is topped with bits of granite, obviously just heaved up on there at some point and the grass has grown into the crevices. So there we go, a few more hours. I'll bring down this wall, make it recede, get smaller and smaller stitches as we go down to Ross and Demelza and they will be the final piece. And then it'll be ready, finished. So do you want to see the finished piece? It's here. Let's have a look at the details. So as you can see, we have Demelzo and Ross at the bottom of the path, looking up at their mine stack. In the 2015 production, Eleanor Tomlinson has the most gorgeous auburn hair. So we've captured that with some very similar coloured thread, actually. Her riding cloak is green in the film, and so we've kind of given it a highlight and some shadow to make it look more rounded. Ross has got his tricorn hat on, and they're there looking up at their mine engine. Wheel leisure. The old granite hedge starts with this rugged gate post, weather-worn but still standing. The rounded little bits of sea glass are there to represent tufts of thrift, lots of French knots as well, and they get gradually smaller as we head down towards Demelza and Ross. My finished art piece. Wheel leisure at Botalic. Looking good, isn't it? What's your favourite bit? Um, I like the characters actually. I mean, you've picked out Demelza's hair and her dress. It, it really does resemble them, doesn't it? He's looking up thinking, I should have got that wee roof, really. <laughs> A big thank you to Jeff for asking me to do this commission. I've really enjoyed it. The challenge of putting the figures at the right scale in the right place in this painting. Brilliant. It's worked so well. So thank you for asking me. Hey, Sarah, would you do one for me? <laughs> If you've got somewhere in mind that you would like as a commission please drop me an email our email address is in the description and for more information about the process of asking for a commission please visit our website the details about our website are also with a link in the description and you might want to visit our Etsy store search Cornish walking trails all one word no spaces on Etsy.com there might be something there that will catch your eye again the details are in the description Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.